Um, I tend to get up rather early and then I have um, a one minute commute from my living accommodations to my studio on via elevator, which is of course like, a big privilege and very nice. Um, and then I tend to split my, I like to split my time temporally and um, physically between doing like physical making, physical fabrication, and then digital making. So more like animation, video editing, and just also like general admin work. So on the physical fabrication part of the space or part of my day, like it's a lot of glass cutting and polishing and carving. So there's always a lot of cleanup to make sure that I'm not cross contaminating the space or like hurting myself or others that I have visit me. And then, um, and then um, depending on like what exactly I'm working on. So for example, with the demands of this current project, I like to spend like the five weekdays doing just physical fabrication, which in the beginning really meant making a lot of mistakes, doing a lot of tests and just making like really, yeah, like a lot of tests in the beginning. And, um, and then the weekends I try to reserve for doing more like digital making or doing like storyboards so that I have a clear idea of what I'm doing. And that also gives my hands a bit of a break. It's a great question. Um, I think one piece of advice, which is of course like also very influenced by other mentors I've had over the years is um, to have like a really strong, um, like really strong standards for yourself and for your work because at least what I've found to be true for myself. It's like, that's the main thing that will validate what you're doing in the long run. Like, that's the main thing that will validate you as an artist and what you do, not necessarily what is coming from the outside or what opportunities might present themselves, but it's really the best thing is to meet your own expectations and know that what you're doing is living up to your, uh, your own goals. And um, I guess beyond that, it's like, just be really conscious of like, the community you're making Make, like make opportunities for other people when you can. I think would be my two takeaways from it. It's a really large question, but uh, I'll definitely try to do it justice. I mean, from um, from my experience in Chicago, I was really um, spoiled to have all these archives up, available to me, like the Newberry and the Ryerson and Burnham which is uh, like an architecture and um, library at the Art Institute of Chicago. And then of course also the um, special collections at the Field Museum. It's, on the one hand, like, that was really wonderful to be able to have that. And, but then on the other hand, I also during my time in the United States had the chance to go to um, several craft schools to spend time there. Um, for example, I was on a, on scholarship at the Penland School of Craft in North Carolina um, a few summers ago, and the, um, these these schools, a lot of them were set up during like the craft movement in the United States. In the United States, um, taking place after like um, shortly after um, the Second World War, and um, that to me, like having the opportunity to go to those craft schools, like definitely marked me a lot in terms of like. Like seeing like how interlinked material and history and also pedagogy are, I think was like a really profound um, experience that I got to have. And um, I think having these these two like juxtaposing experiences, I don't think I could have had that anywhere else in the world necessarily. So that to me was definitely um, a good experience. I mean, thank you very much for having me and. Um, I know there's, I don't know if there's other artists watching, but will be watching this, but I, I think it's important to like keep on making and finding ways to like still come together during these times. Cause I mean, I know for me personally, there are days where it's like waking up in the confinement and having no will to like make or like seeing any point it can be really difficult, but like it is important. So I just have to keep on.